Hey, well, I'm making a lot of videos tonight. Not that you guys would know, because I'm spacing these videos out, but I'm recording a lot. Anyways, um, talking about this, you know, the homosexuality issue with Prop 8, kind of reminds me of something that I wanted to talk about earlier, and it was the video I was going to put up earlier before this shit. And it's on American culture. Um, earlier today, today, well, technically it's Thursday morning, but I'm, I didn't go to sleep yet, so it's still Wednesday. Earlier Wednesday today, um, I happen to have been talking to a couple of, I'll say, enlightened minds. I'm not talking enlightened as in Buddha nature, just people who actually are believe in things other than the bullshit that this culture tells them to believe, whether religious or otherwise. Um, and we, and one of them happened to also been European, and her eyes kind of, she kind of sharply looked in my direction when I started talking about how this country is a lot more backwards than they want to make themselves out to be. And when I started talking about how Europeans aren't as stupid as Americans try to make them out to be, we ended up striking up a conversation, and at the end of the conversation she was, she said she was glad she talked to me, because she was beginning to lose hope in this place. But one of the things I was talking to her about, and it was one that even got her to go, whoa, you got a point, was when I was talking about American culture and against the rest of the world's culture, and that we haven't really grown up here. And that seems to be a source of a lot of the fucking problems that we're facing. Because the rest of the world, for the most part, has been growing up, and we haven't. And to make matters even worse, not only do we have to play catch-up, but we don't even want to play catch-up. And that's going to fuck us over in the long run. It already has. It's already showing. What do I mean when I say that we haven't grown up? Well, look at our values. Now, of course you're going to be talking about, oh, no, no, we have great values. We believe in family values. You don't know what the fuck family values are. Talking about traditional family values, but then you bring up the nuclear family as your example, which goes to show that you don't know shit about what you're talking about. If you want to talk to me about traditional family values, you wouldn't be showing me the two parents, the two kids, and a dog. You'd be showing me the parents, and then the grandparents, and then the uncles, and then the nephews, and the kids, and the cousins, and they'd all more or less be living in the same area or in the same place. Because that's the way families used to be back then. They used to be freaking clans. That's the traditional family. Of course, you don't know that because you're a moron. The values we have in this country counter the values that we claim we are about. The values that the country was founded on tend to fly in the face of the values that we actually believe in. Actions speak louder than words. We say that we... Our values are freedom, and justice, and equality for all, and pursuit of happiness. But then when you look at what we actually do, our values are actually might makes right, and oppression of anyone who says anything different than us, and violence is the answer to all our freaking problems, and adolescence is the ultimate goal that we should have in life. Just think about what I said and kind of look at our culture, and you'll begin to see what I'm talking about. What do I mean when I say that adolescence is our goal in life? Well, think about all the things, when you were a teen, think about all the stuff that you wanted and what you were about when you were a teenager. Fast life, fast cars, fast women, or fast men, depending on you know what sex you are or what you happen to go for. Um, you always wanted fast cars, you always wanted the shiniest objects, you dreamed one day of being famous and well-known and people all loving you and things like that. And then when we become adults, we're supposed to outgrow that. Right? Have we outgrown that in this country? Think about the 40-year-old who suddenly has a midlife crisis. Why the hell would he be having a midlife crisis if he was an adult and had no sure mind? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Why would a woman who's comfortable with being adult and approaching life as is be so concerned with looking like she's 15, 16, 17 years old? 
Why is she still trying to, you know, stretch out her skin and make herself look much younger than she is? I understand beauty and the standards of beauty, but I know that these standards of beauty tend to try to make the woman look as much as a late teen to early 20 year old as possible. Now we can talk about, oh, uh, it's, it's just beauty seems to be at their peak at that age all we want, but we know that's bullshit if we think about it because how many really gorgeous 30 and 40 year olds do we know? And they look their age. It's about adolescence. You want further proof that we're still caught with a teenage mind culturally in this country? What about sex? Haven't you noticed that sex is only spoken of in two ways by adults in this country? You rarely see sex being discussed, frankly, as adults. No, many times when people bring up sex, it's either in a sort of taboo, ooh, I can't believe we're talking about this sort of way, or in a dirty, raunchy, teenage jokery sort of way. Can't talk about sex without being lewd or raunchy. Can't speak about it just like something that adults tend to do, like paying taxes you know, or learning how to drive a car. Now granted, sex tends to be a little bit more exciting than those things, but there's a lot of things that we get to do as adults that are exciting that we can talk about frankly. Sex somehow isn't one of those things, even though it's something that we as adults all share in common. But we are so uptight about sex that you can't even, you barely can discuss it on TV. Video games with tons of blood and guts and violence can have like, you know, basic teen ratings. But as soon as there's a little bit of a panty shot, the M rating gets slapped on. That type of behavior comes from a mind of somebody who sees sex as shameful and ooh, ooh, like kids do. Adults shouldn't have a problem with something that adults do. And speaking of violence, that's another example of how immature the cultural mind of America is. We love guns and blood and guts and violence and all that type of shit as much as we try to say oh defend the kids defend the kids but then how the hell do we solve all our problems this criminal um did this violent act death penalty this country's looking at us cross-eyed bomb them diplomacy fuck that shit that's weak shit we're not supposed to talk to them what's wrong with you you some kind of wimp Hell, there's some moron running around YouTube with the name God, God, um, God, Guns, Guts, and Glory. Do I need to say more? This is, and he claims that this is what America is all about. Guns, Guts, and Glory sounds like the type of shit that I would expect to hear yelled out during a video game that some 16, 17 year old is playing. It should not be the basis of our culture much less of our freaking foreign policy, but it is. Why is that? How did you notice other countries are more like, why can't we talk this out? Why can't we settle differences? Why can't we find the root of the problem and try to solve problems from there? That's an adult way of thinking. And if you notice, the more mature-minded type of people are the type of people who don't want to get into fights. What do we say about the 30-something-year-old who always wants to solve all his problems with his fist? What an immature asshole. What do you think, this is a playground? But when it comes to the general attitude of our daily life, BOMB THEM! SHOOT THEM! KILL THEM! Americans, culturally and by large, are a bunch of teenagers who really don't know shit. And the advances that they are always talking about you know, the technology that we take advantage of and the cultural advances that we've taken advantage of have actually come about from more mature minds, which are rare in this country. There used to be more of them in the older days, but they were still kind of rare. Not as rare as today, but kind of rare. Nowadays, you want one more hint that shows that we're stuck in adolescence mentally? How we always brag about how we're the greatest country in the world. And why do we say that we're the greatest country in the world? No one has the freedoms we have! Have you gone to Europe? We got the, well, we can kick anyone else's ass! We're the strongest, mightiest nature! Now you're beginning to sound like the teenager that I know you are. 
Because only teens talk about, my dad can beat up your dad, that's why he's the best. Our football team can knock over your football team, that's why they're the best. It has nothing to do with brains, if you notice. Rarely do you find Americans saying that their country is the best because of how many intellectuals we got. Well, not to mention another reason why we're stuck in adolescence is because how many people in this country again believe in fairy tales? How many of them believe in angels? I thought we were supposed to outgrow that shit. We have a long way to go mentally in this country. And it shows. <laughs>